masters in the UNS Lyon. And now I'm working on the modification of string theory and non geometry with uh, Mariana Agrania. I won't talk a lot about what I do, but basically I'm working on exceptional string theory, general geometry, and their links to F theory. But I, have, I also have to speak about other stuff. I am the representative of the PhD student at the uh, IPHC. And as it has been said twice already, Corentin uh, made uh, this weekly page, uh, which is quite amazing. And I strongly advise for any foreigner students or even French students because um, we can be lost with the French administration. So I strongly ask you to look at that. Uh, for now, it's only available on the internet, but normally it should be available in the internet uh, around a month from now. Not sure, but normally around. And uh, if you have any idea to what we could put on this web page, uh, I'm thinking about yeah, uh, talking about the registration to the university because it's a mess and a lot of. And French students are lost with it, so it could be good to do that. And also, Quentin asked me to put a part on maybe French movies that people could watch to learn French. But I'm not sure what I could put, so if you have any ideas. And uh, with Quentin, we also made uh, this poster, which you might have seen in the IPHT. So basically, it's uh, a list of contacts that you can contact in any case, any problem you could have at the IPHD. So basically, it's uh, protecting students from anything that could happen in the lab. And uh, I insisted about one fact, so sorry, I'm, I'm going to talk about feminism again. <laughs> but I insisted about uh, putting these two uh, associations uh, because I wanted people to be able to talk outside of the lab about this. And uh, next Monday, I'm going to put some reports from this association that are uh, approved by the French government on uh, statistics in teaching and research in France. So if we want a more constructive debate about feminism, uh, I strongly ask you to look at those reports, who are quite amazing. And they're only in French, so maybe I'm going to translate that in, in English. That's it. Thank you. So my name is Etienne Granet, I am a third year uh, PhD student and I'm working on integrable systems with uh, Hubert Saller and Jesper Jacobsen. Uh, so to give an example of the kind of uh, projects I'm working on, uh, so I studied the um, uh, discretization of a non-unitary field theory, that is the super three sigma model, so it's a kind of uh, supersymmetric generalization of the ON model. So, um, that describes a boson that uh, evolves freely on the sphere of n dimensions. But here there are also additional uh, family degrees of freedom. So this kind of non-unitary systems arises in disordered uh, systems uh, after you have read over the disorder. And so the physics is quite different because we can have a spontaneous uh, symmetry breaking uh, because the mermaid wagner theorem does not apply to uh, non-unitary systems. And uh, so this kind of model, so when you discretize it uh, on a lattice, uh, so it has a simple interpretation in terms of uh, loops that can cross. So if you put uh, strands or polymers, let's say, on the, on the square lattice, so if you forbid the crossings between the, between the loops, then you have a usual model for polymers, and the correlation function will decrease as a power law at criticality. But as soon as you allow for the crossings, then the model flows to a different regime, 
And actually, you can the, the critical behavior of the model becomes quite unusual because you can have logarithmic uh, decay of the correlation functions. And so, with the filter we and with the beta sets, we can compute the critical exponents that are associated to this process. So, that's it. Thank you. So hello everyone, I'm uh, Pierre Mann, I'm a third year student here. Um, my thesis is about black hole and string theory, and my supervisor is Josip Pena. So I did initially uh, an introduction slide, a 15 second introduction slide about black holes, but since uh, Nick did a very nice talk, it's a bit ridiculous, but let's go through it. So black hole, you all know now that they are um, pretty puzzling theoretical objects. And you also all know that uh, through string theory you can build geometry which looks like the black hole from far away and differs near the horizon by a smooth and horizontal geometry. And some questions arise which are, can we build the exponential S sub-geometry in string theory? Can we understand the idea CFT? And can we study some physics? So my work here, uh, my first year I, I did some kind of Warm up exercise, I study like the simplest case, which are supersymmetric external black holes. But uh, I succeed to build systematic, systematically uh, a large family of such uh, microstate geometry, and we predict some nice um, features of the corresponding black holes. In a second work uh, with Yosef uh, and uh, David Turton, we study also IDS2 CFT1 by just extending our geometry to asymptotic. Asymptotically IDS2, and we, okay, IDS2 CFT1 is quite puzzling uh, IDS CFT correspondence. Uh, and we show that in the case of our uh, microstates, uh, IDS2 CFT1 makes uh, perfect sense. Uh. Okay, more recently also, I studied some microstates which are more, uh, which correspond to more uh, astrophysical objects. Which are the external care objects, so I succeed to build family which are asymptotically the near horizon of care, black holes. And I study also a simple system of deep brains, which correspond to black holes. They are large charge, but uh, I succeed to show that in a simple system you can actually uh, have exponential S uh, microstate geometry. Can, you can build an exponential S microstate geometry. So, yeah, that's all. Thank you very much. Thanks. student of Hubert Saleur and Jesper Jacobson. So I am from Dublin in Ireland where I studied at Trinity College and luckily Ireland is still in the EU. Uh, I did my master's degree at the University of Cambridge in the UK which unfortunately is not in the EU and immediately after this I came to France to study with Hubert and Jesper which fortunately for all of us is definitely uh, so I've tried to sum up a large part of the work I've done during my PhD in just this one slide. And what we are interested in doing is studying some conformal field theories in the top right hand corner with the exotic properties of non-unitarity and non-compactness. And non-compactness is a property which we would identify by seeing a continuum of critical exponents. And the reason we are interested in studying CFDs of this kind is that there are some examples of statistical lattice models whose phase transitions are described by conformal field theories with these properties. Uh, so typically what we will do is start in the left-hand corner, top left-hand corner of the slide with a lattice model at criticality with open boundaries. And in the cases where these models are integrable, we can use the tools of integrability, such as the Bethian sets, to study the continuum limit of these models to obtain the boundary conformal field theories with the properties of non-unitarity and non-compactness. 
Uh, another example of the lattice models that we can study are shown in the picture on the bottom left, which is a loop model with a very particular uh, boundary condition on the left hand side. Uh, and in this case, we can use direct diagonalization to study this model in the continuum limits, and in particular, we can relate it to the parafermion conformal field theory. Now, in the example of a, a non unitary, non compact CFT, we can actually uh, see the famous staggered six vertex model produces the black hole CFT in the continuum limit. So that's an example of one of these non-unitary, non-compact models. Uh, so sometimes this works very nicely and we can go from the left-hand side of the slide to the right-hand side of the slide using either integrability or direct diagonalization. Uh, sometimes it does not work so well, and in particular what seems to happen is the very property that we use to identify non-compactness, that is a continuum of critical exponents, uh, seems to disappear uh, with the particular boundary conditions that we have studied. So the search is still on for boundary conditions that still give us a continuum of critical exponents, the continuum limits. So just to summarize with the good, the bad and the ugly of this work, the good being the EU, bad being Brexit, and the sometimes ugly but sometimes very pretty is the non-compact CFT with boundaries. Thank you. Thank you. that allows to solve some integrable systems, as the periodic Eisenberg spin chain, for instance. And last year, I worked with uh, Samuel Delia on the development of new techniques called modified algebraic Bezianzas that could hopefully be used to solve uh, some problem as the open Eisenberg spin chain with general boundaries, which is not solvable by the usual algebraic Bessin class. And now I'm working with uh, Vincent Pasquier on some uh, stochastic problems. We study uh, models called Q boson, stochastical Q boson, which are, which are a deformation of the asymmetric simple exclusion process. And we're trying to compute some physical quantities uh, that could be used to study evolution of current after a quench and infinite chain. Well, that's it for me. Thank you. Secretary's IT team, all of you come up here and talk about yourself. Uh, I think PhD students and postdocs are part of the lab too, and uh, we should not be treated in any different way, okay? Uh, so, with that being said, if you got, still got any attention for me, then my name is Long. I'm now a student of Ivan and Didina. And this is my PhD project. 
I try to build a pyramid out of coffee cups. So uh, this picture is uh, taken by my supervisor, Eva. And at that moment, I stopped at the 2D pyramid. Now I plan on going 3D, so I, I had to start again. So maybe next time I see, uh, you see me, I can show you something bigger than this. Thank you. student, but after three years study, I have no interest in spend my whole life in the hospital operating people, so I began to operating my brain. So I went to Germany and started uh, physics and mathematics, and after that I went to Economics PVA, and currently I'm a second year PhD student uh, working with Ruben Milassi, and our uh, um, subject is about uh, strongly coupled gravity, um, duality, and uh, generalized complex geometry. So, the idea of generalized complex geometry is just uh, combine the different phasism generated by vector field and one form uh, gauge transformation on the string space time. And uh, this will give us an uh, integrable structure which interpolate between the symplectical and the usual complex structure, and this can systematically um, collect the um, string vacuum. So, and besides, I'm also interested in topological string and uh, supersymmetric localization or other formal approaches to QFT and strings. If you are also interested in such aspects, so please talk to me and uh, we may find something together to do. Okay. Thank you. And I'm a last year PhD student and I work with uh, Hubert, but also Jesper Jakobsen uh, from uh, LPT ENS, but Jesper is often in Sackley. Uh, so we've been interested in several subjects all related to non unitary uh, lattice models. So the first example is we tried, we did uh, build some family of local operators, the bot model. So this is a continuation of a work uh, with uh, Romain Vasseur that you may remember since he did his PhD here. And so uh, the nice part here of this approach is that you can derive exact results in 2D and higher dimensions. So for instance, we work on 3D uh, calculation recently. A uh, second uh, subject or project is to understand the entanglement in non entire critical spin chain. So Take your favorite critical system and its ground states, cut apart, and you just ask the question how much this part is entangled to the rest of the system. So, in the unitary case, it has a lot of nice connection with the CFT, but uh, we investigated the case of non unitary quantum uh, spin chain and more especially the case of supersymmetric and quantum group invariant spin chain. Uh, a third project, uh, still uh, related to non-unitary non uh, safety, is to study the plateau transition in the quant integer quantum hole effect. So this transition is described by a CFT that is non-unitary, non-compact, and also logarithmic. And the difficulty comes from the fact that on the lattice, every site has an infinite degrees of freedom. So what you can do is to study a series of truncation where you limit those degrees of freedom. 
and you can do the same kind of uh, work on the Brownian motion and truncation, for instance, would be related to self-avoiding uh, works. Uh, I'm also working on other projects, uh, like studying the RG flow in uh, different theories on the quantum Hall effect, and I try to apply a tensor network to all those uh, problems. Thank you. I don't normally have a limb, so don't try to remember me as the person with the limb. Uh, one of the hobbies I took up after joining IPHD is bouldering. Clearly I'm not an expert yet, so here we are. I also have probably one of the longest email addresses in the lab, good to know. Don't try to email me, just go see me. Um, let's see, how do we move forward? Here. Right, so I come from Sweden. From the northern part, at least that's where I did my bachelor, that's also why I moved, because it's in the north. Ah, thank you. Then I moved to France to do my master, and I ended up doing both my internships at IPHD. And, you know, cliche, cliche, but I fell in love with the place, I wanted to do my PhD here. And so I ended up with Hubert Salah. I'm the last one today in Hubert's army, which means that the people before me have said a lot, so I won't repeat all of what they have said. But I also work on non-unitor CFT. So when we want to get money, we can mention this quantum wall effect, for example. We have some other practical models like propagation. Um, so what I do is to study the conformal symmetry on the lattice. I discretize their sort of generators, build them in terms of lattice algebra generators, such that I'm going to leave algebra generators. And the idea is to be able to use this information later and bootstrap our way into correlation functions. Now, I don't build pyramids of coffee, cup, coffee cups, but I do have another hobby. Which brings me to my next slide. Which is this. One of my plants, which is my other hobby, went missing in the summer. And <laughs> since this is probably the only occasion I have to speak to all of the lab, <laughs> if anyone has seen this one, this is one of, this is two years ago, the plant was still young, it has grown a bit, but it's essentially spiky, it has red flowers. If you see it, could you please put it in the library? Thank you. Symmetry SO5, 1 has been uh, 
made clear, so that uh, by studying the integrability of the spin chain, one can hope to to compute the uh, quantities in this uh, sort. Thank you.